So to start off by making these skirts, we're gonna do a chain long enough to cover the hip area and the client's hip area is 34 inches. So we're gonna start off by making a slip knot. This is how I make the slip knot. So we're gonna make a chain long enough to cover the hip area. So I have chained enough that it reaches 34 inches, which is the size of the hip when it's stretched. My measurement reaches just past, a little past 34, which is 35, so it's 104 stitches. And now we're gonna chain two extra chains chain two more and go back in with double crochets one two and then the third one we're gonna do double crochet I'm gonna do double crochet all the way down the chain and if you don't know what a double crochet is it's basically yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull it through two loops so we're gonna do that all the way down our chain I'll meet you back at the end So now that we have gotten to the end of our chain with our double crochet, this is our last double crochet. And now we're gonna find the end and 
ensure that our work is straight and rounded really well. Make sure it's not twisted in any way. slip stitch and now we're gonna chain 11 so one two three So after chaining 11, we're gonna count 11, seven, sorry, seven double crochets down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and place a single stitch in the seventh chain. And now we're gonna chain 11 again, one, two, Again, we're gonna count seven after our single crochet so one two three four five six seven and we're gonna place a single crochet in this loop Chain up 11, 1, 2, eleven. and we're going to repeat this process until we get to the end. I'm going to show it again. Count 7 double crochets from our single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna place a single crochet in that double crochet on the previous row. And then chain 11. So we're gonna repeat this process until we get to back where we started. Now that we have gotten to the end of our row, our first row, we chained up 11 and we're gonna insert a single crochet to the end of this row here. Insert a single crochet we're going to chain up 11 and in the sixth we're going to place a single crochet so it's basically going to repeat itself, chain 11, and we're going to do 5 rows repeat of our chain 11 single stitch chain 11 single stitch in the sixth and then we're gonna follow by doing a decrease 
so I'm gonna make it back at the end of our fourth row so I'm just gonna repeat what I just did we chained up 11 and now we're gonna insert a single crochet in the sixth one two so in the sixth chain on the previous row and chain 11 again and it repeats itself Gonna continue in row repeat rows. You can see that it's coming along nicely. So basically gonna repeat this process for four rows. This is row one, this is row two, and when we return at this point, which is our starting row. So this is row one, we're gonna come back again and row two is gonna fall here. So we're gonna repeat for four rows in total for our chain 11. And then we'll start our decrease. So it fits the body snug. So it, after the hip, it decreases to fit snugly around the thighs. So I'll meet you back when I'm finishing my row of row 11 chain 11 and row 4 so what I did was place a stitch marker where our row begins because this is where we started so now if I want to make the decrease and in this particular item I'm not going to decrease because it's going to be a long crochet net skirt and if I decrease the person will not be able to walk comfortably so what I'll do I'll just show how to decrease so the last thing we did was chain 11 and do our single stitch in the beginning where we started so now we're going to go on to row this is row one two three four same as here one two three four so we'll be going on to row five one two three four so you have to count it diagonally so we'll be going on to row five so for row five we'll make the decrease of nine so before we had 11 chain and we do it in odd numbers so that we can get the midpoint of the odd number so when we did the 11 we placed it in the sixth stitch which is five on one side five on the other side and the sixth will be the center stitch so now we're going to do nine and we'll have to place it in the fourth stitch but for this row at the beginning of the fifth row because we have 11 chains here we still have to place it in the sixth stitch until we get around to where we only have nine chains then we place it in to the fourth stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're still going to count. And place it in our sixth stitch until we get around and we have so 
so one, two, three, four, five, six. And we place our single stitch in like this. And we chain nine and we continue around until we meet back to where we started, which is this chain nine. So when we get around to the chain line, we'll have to place it in the fourth stitch. Three on one side, three on the other side, and the fourth stitch will be the center point. So we'll count one, two, three, four. And we'll have to place our joining stitch on this side. Did I count that correct? One, two, three, four. No, oh, sorry, this is in the eleventh one, sorry. One, two, three, four. So this is where our chain nine starts. And we have to make the peak at the fourth stitch. So this is the last chain 11, and now we move on to the chain nine. So when we make the rounds and we reach at this point, we'll have to place our center point at the chain four stitch but i'm not doing the decrease on this pattern because it's a long skirt that i'm making so i'll undo this part until here and continue with my chain 11 and i'll meet you all back to the end of my garment